Good morning everyone, how is it going today? Today I'm gonna be showing you real quick how to go from this kind of mathematical expressions in ChatGPT to this kind of mathematical expressions, okay? Alright, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so if you've been anywhere near the internet in the past few months, you have probably heard about ChatGPT and how incredibly useful it is to actually learn and to explain yourself very complicated topics, among which is mathematics and some mathematical concepts. Um, so, I mean, personally, I've been using it a lot for studying mathematics and some topics in machine learning and it's been extremely useful but something that really came short uh, that it came short with was with uh, rendering mathematics inside ChatGPT. so whenever i would want to display some sort of equation or something or i would kind of ask it to explain a concept to me and it would explain it with an equation um, i would have to ask it to use latex to 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 print the equation and then go to a LaTeX uh, converter to actually display the equation with uh, beautiful symbols. So basically I started looking for it, so this is a moment to give a shout out to this awesome dude who did this pretty much for free and uh, who gave, gave it away for everyone. Um, he basically developed exactly what, what I'm showing you, um, which is this piece of code right here, um, which you can copy and paste somewhere where you're using um, chat chat gpt and then just ask chat gpt to use latex to to display uh, mathematical equations and then you you just gotta um, paste whatever uh, the code he developed and then just hit enter and it's basically going to render the code in chat gpt However, I found that there is a problem with this one because um, if you're using it for a long time, it tends to break. Um, the thing I suppose is that either Chrome or ChatGPT doesn't really like having um, external JavaScript in, injected in a script tag. Um, so yeah, after a few minutes, it would just crash and just I would have to reload and it was very um not extremely uh good experience so what i did was basically i just uh, bundled that and repackaged it into this equation right here uh, which basically does the same thing but i've been using it for a few weeks now and it works pretty good so i'll be uh, showing you how to install it yourself um so basically the idea behind the equation is that you go to ChatGPT, and you're gonna want to ask ChatGPT to display all of the equations using latex right so basically i mean what i would do usually is just write a prompt myself but here i just added a button to ask for the to to create the prompt um, automatically and then you would you have to click on render latex right and this basically just takes all of the instances where there is this kind of um uh, latex language in the in the screen and then it just renders it especially for ChatGPT, right and then you can just stop the rendering. But the thing is that if you continue working with this, like for example, give me another equation, it's going to continue rendering it, um, even if you don't like press the button again, it's like continuously uh, rendering every LaTeX expression in, um, in the screen. So, I mean, that part is pretty useful. For the moment, it only works on ChatGPT because that's where I was using it. And so now I'm going to show you how to install it. Um, to install it, I actually tried to put it on on Chrome Webster uh, this weekend, but um, it's taken a bit of time to actually have it like go through all the permissions and like to have it validated. So I'm going to show you how to install it from GitHub. Um, so I'm going to put this link in the description, which is a link to the repository of the um, extension and of course if you're a developer you can totally contribute to it and just send a pull request and we can go through it um, but the idea here is that if you want to install it in your computer you're gonna want to come here I mean to go to the link in the description and then you're gonna come here to code 
and then click on download zip right that will download this file right here you will have to unzip it like like in Mac you can just unzip it by clicking on it like this and here you have it all right so inside the file let me show you what it looks like um, inside the file um, inf inside the unzipped file you will have this folder right here it's called extension the rest of it is basically just to to build it to 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 I mean if you're a developer you know what what this kind of things are but um, if you just want to install it in your browser the only folder that you're interested in is extension right here so in order to install it in your browser you're gonna have to go to in your browser you're gonna have to go to Chrome extensions which is like the list of your extensions that you have um, installed I'm just going to remove the one that I already have here installed and you're going to have to click right here in develop developer mode so that you can see this button right here which is load unpacked then you're gonna click on load unpacked and you're going to look for the extension that you just downloaded right and inside the file you're going to select the extension button right um, I mean ideally I would place this not in the downloads folder but in some folder that I know that I'm going to keep for a long time because if you delete this folder you're going to delete the extension as well so I would just put it in my documents or wherever you want um, and then just select the extension uh, folder click on select then it's going to load it and if for some reason the extension crashes you're just gonna have to click right here and refresh the extension and now you can definitely just go to ChatGPT like this and you will have this new extension right here which is ChatGPT equation renderer um, I chose just to pin it here and then you click on it you have a pop-up the first button does what I showed you already it um, automatically creates the prompt for ChatGPT and it asks it to, asks it to use LaTeX to render equations um, and then you just render all the equations in its request and as you can see the renderer is, is turning all um, while you have this uh, enabled so you can continue asking for I mean you can just continue your study session and your all of your equations will be converted into this beautiful uh, syntax um, like symbols so yeah I mean I'm sure that if someone has um, done um, has a little bit more experience with ChatGPT maybe there is a prompt um, to actually do this without an extension I have been trying to do something like this um, these are some tests that I that I used I mean at some point it worked to do this without um, the extension but sometimes it just goes crazy and sometimes it just doesn't work like asking it like if you ask it to use double like special characters or something like that um, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't display the equation uh, for my uh, I mean myself I just found that the easiest thing to do was just to use this pretty simple extension uh, if you're interested I'm gonna show you how to build this equation in this extension uh, in a future video so you can subscribe if you like that um, so yeah I mean that's all for this video I hope you you found this useful and I'll see you next time cheers